Greetings from sunny Western Australia. This is John Blythe with my rather crude video on how I've set up my Quest 2 for Condor, Condor VR flying. It's of course, it's a wonderful gliding program and how to pin LK8000 and Kotasa in successfully. It's a little trickier than one might imagine, but I will also demonstrate how I am using other files to make everything work. Auto hotkey is the secret. So here we are in VR desktop. I usually actually do this normally outside of VR, but for this video, we'll do it inside. So I have this batch script here that the arrow is pointing to, and all the items below are automatically started uh, by this batch script. The first two are the auto hotkey scripts, which are vitally important. The connection to uh, between Condor and LK8000 my Thrustmaster target software, and also Discord. You can start, and so these, here's our two auto hotkey scripts. One controls LK8000, the other one actually speaks the task rules, which is the latest addition to Kotaku. Then we have um, Discord, and of course the Thrustmaster software. I normally would go into Condor uh, via the server, but in this case, we shall go in via the, directly via the icon. So here we go into uh, Condor 2. The important thing here is to save the task. Make sure you've set up your aircraft correctly. Add water, all that sort of thing. And then save your task for use with Kotaku. Now, shortly, Kotaku will be updated and you will be able to use a fully automated process to run it within VR. But for the moment, this is the best way to do it. So we're just going to save the flight plan so we can then use it with Kotaku to generate an LK8000 version of the Condor 2 task. And I also have a post run script that automatically starts LK8000. 8000 and Kotasa, which is another wonderful utility from Mark Tal. So here we go, we're starting Kotasa, say again, yep, Kotako. And first of all, we will select the saved flight plan, which was our test flight plan up there. Double click on that, eventually. Come on, John, double click on it. Here we go. And now we have the opportunity, if, there's a, if it's an AAT task, the AAT task will be ticked and you need to manually set the duration of the AAT task. In this case, it's not, so we'll click OK. And very soon this warning box uh, will be able to be disabled and to allow this process to be fully automated. But in the meantime, we'll click on it and it will now come up with the task rules. And the benefit of this is that you can again, then get an auto hotkey script to actually speak to you in VR during the task and remind you what they all, what you need to do as far as start, finish heights, cloud flying, all that sort of thing. So what I normally do is go into LK8000 before anything else, get it started, you can pre-set uh, up the uh, McCree speed if you want to, but normally I don't worry about that. I let it auto increase. So you notice I haven't done anything about actually pinning anything at this stage, because it seems with Condor 2, you actually need to go into the simulator, start the flight, then go back out of it in VR only, and then come back and pin your LK8000 and Kotasa. And here we are in Nephi, if that's the way you pronounce it, in the good old USA, perfectly plain cockpit, nothing pinned whatsoever. Everything is completely bog standard. 
but now here is the real nitty gritty of what we need to do. We need to start pinning things. So we'll go back to the desktop by long pressing on the Oculus button. And we need to start pinning our three items. So trigger one, hold, trigger two, hold, release, trigger one, and then you have full control using trigger two of the position in and out sideways of each item. You can change the size by using the little joystick on the right controller. Bit of a fiddle to use, but a little bit of practice and you soon get to learn exactly where to put things on. So trigger one, hold trigger two, hold, release trigger one, drag away. And using your wrist movements, you can turn things around, up and down, and then the the joystick, the little joystick thing to change the size. The most important thing to remember is to pin each of these three items at the stage by pointing to the little pinning button, click once with the trigger, click again, it goes to pinned, and you can see that they're now pinned, so you can unpin them, but who wants to do that? We have a quick look around and check what we that everything's in order. We can adjust a little bit within the cockpit by doing a short press on the Oculus button. Here's our two scripts, our hotkey scripts. And we've got our Thrustmaster software working. The connection between Condor 2 and uh, LK8000. We're all running on the same computer, of course. And then we go back into the flying stage. Now note, our cockpit isn't completely centered with LK1000, etc. Just move your head slightly, a quick press on the Oculus button and you can reposition. Also, big movements up and down will give you height changes as well. So let's look at what we can do with the joystick and hottest control. So look, we just zoomed in there and now we'll zoom in again, pressing the zoom button on the hottest and you can see the distance going out and going in. Very useful. We really have full control and here we are changing the navigation menus at the bottom. You can go left and right, all controlled by auto hotkey. We also have the ability to take complete control of LK8000, best to put into autopilot. Remember, and here actually we have also looked at the airspace key for want of a better one. I use that for Final Glide. Sorry, getting a bit ahead of myself here. What are we going to do next? I've done the audio separately and it's a bit of a nightmare to get it right. But let's see, we should be going into total control of LK8000, here we go. Going into cruise control, then we can use, I use a trackball or a mouse, and you can have full control of LK. Remember, if you go into autopilot, don't forget that you can adjust your speed with the trim once you're in autopilot. So this means in this particular case, we have full control of LK8000 within the VR cockpit. That's a very, very powerful thing. But most things we can do, including uh, uh, starting free flight and restarting uh, the start uh, can be done by the auto hotkey, hottest and joystick controls. Very powerful. And we can also operate another hotter stick, which will talk to us and tell us the task rules with NVR, and that's very useful if you have a memory like mine. Going back to LK8000, here we are changing the McCready settings up and down, or oh, that was a restart, free flight. Goodness me, again, I'm a little bit out of sequence for this, but there's the restart. I do apologize. I've tried to redo this a number of times and it's all been a bit of a nightmare. Here we go now. We have uh, on my hottest, I have an auto script running 
So I can just hold one button and it'll go up and down um, multiple times, multiple spots with the um, McCready setting in Condor. And we will, might even go for a little bit of a fly in a moment. And you can see uh, Kotafa on the right hand side and showing the wind and the flap settings. Everything changes in real time. And I use the uh, two throttles on my hottest, one for the air brake and one for the flaps, works very well. And I grab the air brake by mistake there. I've got to be very careful not to do that. But we're not really going to give you a demonstration on flying, but this is just to give you an indication that everything works. Now there is a, uh, I've set it up on my task thing, and you can see the T button, which is the task timer in Kotasa. I have that set up on my hottest as well. And you can see all the, everything can be controlled within the Condor PDA, as well as LK8000 without interfering with your flying. So we've just zoomed in and out a couple of times. Uh, we'll have a look around there, it's a flap being changed. It really is pretty uh, seamless. I have had some minor troubles with the menu changes uh, and uh, because they're not a direct key command within LK8000, but that's a very minor thing. And if you try it again, it will always work. But the major functions within LK8000 work absolutely faultlessly and reliably. And just remember, you can always get into the full mouse control. As I say, I use a trackball, find it much easier. While you're flying, just go on to autopilot. Make sure your speed and flap settings are right. I have found this works extremely well and reliably. You do have uh, a little bit of control of the positioning of things by doing a short press on the Oculus button after you've moved your head into a slightly different position to move things left, right, and up and down. But I found, having done it a few times, it works really well for me. And of course, you can always do a long press on the Oculus button, which you can set this short press, long press on the Oculus button up within the settings for the Quest 2. Uh, it's a very handy little thing to set up and have many, many uses. So I hope this has been of interest and some help and that uh, it makes a bit of sense to you. I um, do apologize that it's a little bit uh, jumpy uh, in the speech side of things, but I tried to record audio while I was uh, actually taping the audio for want of a better word, but it wasn't very successful. So I've had to do a completely separate audio track. Anyway, it's my first attempt. So don't, don't flame me too much. So we can quit out of Condor. You'll see we're going out now, we have full mouse control. We can go in and out as desired and your pinning will remain. So if you need to come out for some reason to start another flight, your pinning will remain as long as you don't go out completely of VR.